guys, how's it going? Uh, J Wolf here, Archangel. Um, how's it going, guys? Um, so today we're going to be um, doing the how to set up and the best settings for your El El Elgato HD60S. So I'm going to show you how exactly you start it up and the best settings you're going to want to use to actually get it running and running well, streaming well, any of that. Um, all going to be in this video. So anyways, you guys, let's get right into this. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head on your PS4. Before you do anything, um, this is what you're going to have to do. Um, so go up to settings on your PlayStation 4, right up here, all the way to the right. Hit settings, and then go all the way down till you find system. So once you get that, um, you're going to want to go down right here to enable HTCP. You need to disable it. So just click this, and it said, oh, no, the application will be closed. Okay, so, yeah, you want to click yes, and it's going to disable HDCP. And, uh, yeah, that's what you're going to want to do first. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and get your HD60S. Um, so what you're going to need is the HD60S and these two cables that it came with. And uh, so you're going to need your USB 3.0 right here, and you're going to plug that in right into this right there. You can see, just plug it right into there. And then you're going to want to go over to your computer and plug it in. You have to have a USB 3.0, and my USB 3.0 is right uh, it's plugged in with something right now. It's plugged with my Apple. Um, but it's right there. It's going to have a little thing right there. Um, so you're going to plug it into that. Let me just plug that in real quick. Get it in there. Right there. Okay. So it's plugged in. Um, it's going to do all that stuff in a sec. We're going to get back to the computer in a minute. Um, and the other cord you're going to need is the HDMI cable, and even if you didn't, it always will come with one, but if even if you lost yours, uh, it will always, you'll always probably find one around the house somewhere, at least, at least I can. And you're going to plug that in right over to here, to the HDMI in, right next to the USB 3.0. So, now, after you do all that, um, as you can see, you're going to take this. I put it right there for right now. Um, so you're going to take your thing. Don't let that fall. Um, and we're going to plug it in to the PS4. So let me, let me just take this one. You're going to unplug your monitor one. We're going to use that in a second. And we're going to plug it right in to the PS4 right there. Okay. And now you're going to want to take your from your monitor, your HDMI cable that you have plugged into your monitor, and, hold on, I lost the uh, HD60, um, and now you're going to want to plug it in to the HDMI out. So once you have all that done, um, it should now display your PS4 again right there, so you're, that means you're doing things right, uh, you got everything plugged in, it should show up again there, and now I'm going to head over to the PC. Okay guys, so once you're on your computer, you have it plugged in, um, first of all, the thing you're going to want to do is download get the Game Capture HD, so I'm just going to, I'm going to go show you, uh, you would go, I'm going to have a link in the description for that download, um, Game Capture, um, yeah, you're going to want to go into elgatogaming.com, I'll have a link in the description, don't worry about that, um, and you're going to want to go to downloads, uh, I'll have, and you're going to download um, your version that you're gonna need um, so yeah you're gonna want to download this one right here game capture on Windows um, yeah that's stream deck um, but yeah game capture for Windows uh, this will also help you if you want to do 4k but you're really gonna want to download this one but once you do that you're gonna want to go through the installation process and once you have all that done you should have this game capture and you should have sound capture as well you might want to have sound capture as well it's very helpful um, but you're gonna want to have game capture especially so you're gonna want to open that up Let me just let that open up Okay, so once you have that opened um, As you can see I already have everything set up, but I'm gonna show you exactly what you're gonna do You're probably gonna have a blank screen wherever you start it up. That's okay. If you do that's fine um, But 
you're definitely going to want to go into these, this right here, the settings. Um, you're going to click on that, and you're going to want to have it set to whatever console you have. Um, right now, I have PlayStation 4. You here, where you'd have Xbox One. Um, I don't know why it works for that. Xbox 360, PC, you know, all that stuff. But you're going to want to do PlayStation. I'm doing PlayStation 4 right now. Um, sometimes I do use audio, um, analog audio. Um, I'll show you what that is in a little while, but it, it's not needed. Um, that's basically the audio in on your device that you can plug in a auxiliary cord in, and it, it it's just there if you need it. Um, I would have I have a splitter that I would use sometimes, but since I have the instant game view, I do not need that. So you're gonna want to do HDMI audio and uh, 1080p. You're gonna want the highest quality if your computer can handle it. Um, you're probably gonna need at least four gigabytes of RAM and a decent uh, processor to run this. So just make sure you have the right specs for that. Um, they'll probably be once you go to the download link, they'll probably have specs for that. Um, yeah, so you're gonna have all all this set up how I have it. Um, you can do this expanded, but I just keep it standard. Um, allow 60 frames. This is the best settings really. Um, you don't really need that for game preview. That's just for what you look at. Uh, cropping, you can do anything with that. Um, picture, so I just keep it as that. And audio, I keep it the same. Profiles, so that's basically the best settings for that. That's how to get that right. And now stream settings. Um, I'm going to get into, and as you can see, we can see the uh, PS4 screen right there. Um, perfect right there. Um, so you're going to go into settings um, if you have a capable thing you're gonna wanna have everything set up like this public gaming you know you can set it up how you want for your stream and if you wanna have a 1080p 60 frames on um, streaming you're gonna want it's usually gonna be set to about like 3.0 so it's gonna be like 720p 60 frames which isn't the best and since the HD 60 can definitely handle that you're gonna wanna go all the way down to 8.0 that's what I keep it at 8.0 might be a little if your computer isn't good enough it might be a little laggy but I'm sure you'll be able to handle it and uh, right here's the record button um, other settings I have on the um, the thing itself, um, you have all your share settings. Um, there's a something called stream command, which I'm going to enable right here. Um, it it does appear <laughs> it can be kind of it will make it a lot laggier, but it you might want to turn down this a little bit for stream command. But um, let me see, did that work? Let me redo that. Um, yeah, enable stream command right here. Uh, click enable and hit OK. So yeah, this is stream command. And this is how you can get like pop-up uh, donations and lots of other stuff like little gifts that you can add, which I have, um, which I will be probably doing on some videos, as you guys can see. Um, usually I have some other stuff. I don't know why it's not loading in, but it would say my name right there, and I have my there it is. It's kind of all jumbled over the place. It's not really supposed to be like that. I'll have to fix that, but yeah, that's that's what that does. It's pretty cool. I like it. Um, it's it can make it a little laggy for for you to use, but it should be fine. Um, so yeah, that's that. I'm just gonna disable that. You really don't need that, but if you need if you want to have stuff like that on Twitch, you can go ahead or uh, YouTube as well. Uh, you can do that. Have donation alerts, subscriber alerts, and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna disable that real quick. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's basically the best settings you can have um, that I use, at least, and everything should be set up correctly. Um, right here is your commentary, so you can see that it is right here. It's good, and I'm going to give you a little, uh, just a little template, or a uh, little um, showing you guys how good the gameplay looks on this. So, um, yeah, so that's the settings. Um, I'm just going to show you a little clip from, I'll just play a random game. And, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in a little while. Enjoy this little clip. See how good it looks. See what you think. I hope this helped you guys out. Um, anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.
Another race through the bush. The jungle here can get tight, so watch your lines. Let's get it on! And it's locked! Go! I got more where that came from. One lap finish. Nice. I'm getting angry now. Jacked up. Oh! Oh, yes! The crowd wants more! Oh, yeah! Alright guys, uh, it's gonna end the gameplay, um... The next one? Um, yeah.